All right, I've had quite a few requests today for the Dortal, the Cordal, and the Octordal, and I've got a little bit of time still before it's tomorrow. So I'm gonna see if I can get all of them in here quick. Um, but it's getting pretty late, so I'm gonna set up my pre-excuse that I'm getting tired, and so if I do poorly, that's the reason, of course. <laughs> all right, so we're looking at the Dortal. Let's see, what should we start with today? Let's do, um, let's go with my oldest son's starting word, ratio. I don't use that as often as some of the others. Okay, so ratio, and then we could do, uh, oh, we've got the T, O, and I over here. I wonder if it's something O-I-T, that's possible. We had droit the other day, oh, there's no R, so it's not droit. All right, I'm thinking that an, a word with five new letters would be good. Um, I mean, we could do something like punch. Feels like maybe it'd be good to use S and E, though. There is an O and a T in both words, so maybe it'd be good to do something with O and T. And some other letters, like... Let's do touch, that might be good. Oh, wow, okay, that was really good over here, so... Oh, and over here, too, look at this, so... We've got, uh... I mean, it could be clout. Clout would be good, let's try that. It was clout. And this is T-O something I something. I mean, it could be to no, it can't be toxic, there's no C. Top pick, again, no C. Uh, something. It's hard because putting the X's in here, now all I can think of is toxic, because of that X, but. Oh, toxin, toxin, toxin. I think that's what it probably is. Okay, toxin. All right, so we got clout and toxin, very nice. Now I'm gonna move on to the cordal, and I'm gonna use clout and toxin as my starting words on the cordal. All right, so we're on to the cordal here. We're gonna use clout and toxin. So we've repeated the O, but there are O's in a lot of these words, so that's not terrible. This one's interesting. So T something, there's gotta be an O towards the end. It's probably not O-U. So, the O could be last, the U's gotta be up here somewhere, maybe something like this, or... Ooh, it could be like Turbo. Turbo would be good. Hmm. Now that's not gonna help us with any of these other words, though, so I'm not gonna guess Turbo, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep Turbo in mind here. This one up here has... The T is third or fourth, so maybe L-O-T something? Hmm. All right, I'm thinking I should do something with letters we haven't used yet. Something like spear, maybe? Or how about spare? I like the, the silent E at the end as an option. So let's go with spare. Okay, there's two E's and neither one of them is at the end. So I probably should have done spear. Um, and no other letters from spare. Okay, well there's two R's here, okay. So this one, I mean, I would think trout, but... Oh, I was still thinking turbo, right. So I think it's turbo. I think turbo is good. I'm gonna go with turbo. It's not turbo. Shoot. All right, well, the the R is last, and the O is... Oh, oh, it could be uh, tutor or tumor. Hmm. Tutor. And that one's not a... I think that's a probably a proper noun. Tut so it's tutor or tumor. Okay. Uh, up here, we've got... Hmm. There's lots of things that could be going on there. The R could be last. Then the L would probably be first. Something like that. Or otherwise the R could be, you know, up here before the O. Something like that. Uh, something like droll would work. This one has an L, T, and O, so could be something O, T, E, L, hotel. Hotel would work. So would motel. Well, motel would help down here because it's either going to give us the T in the third position or it's going to tell us there's an M. So then we would then know if this was tutor or tumor. All right, I'm going to try motel. Oh, it was Motel, awesome. And this is Tumor. Okay, cool, all right, good. So now, this one here, interesting. So the E is one of the first three letters. Uh, maybe, 
LE something is possible. Um, something like Leech would work. The double E, that would be good. Because there's no A, I, O, or U. So I like Leech there. What's this one up here going to be? We've got the L at the end. The R has to be at the begin. Again, it could be Droll. All right, I'm going to try Leech, I think. I'm going to go for it. It's not Leech. Uh, Belch. Belch? It's something E-L-C-H. Be Belch or Welch. And up here, I mean, it could still be Droll. Or... Ooh. It could be Growl. Growl would be good. We've had that recently on a puzzle. I don't remember which one, but we had Growl recently. Hmm. Well, we've got two words that have a W possibility. Welch and Growl. Otherwise, it's Belch or Droll. All right, I'm gonna try Growl. I could do Welch or Growl. I'm thinking I wanna do one of them with a W because even if it's wrong, at least I'll know what the other one is. I don't have enough guesses to get both of them if this is wrong. And I feel like Growl is, but, but at least I'll have figured them out. It's something. Um, and I feel like Growl is more likely than Welch. But if it is Welch, Growl will tell me that. Okay, I'm gonna go with Growl. It was Growl. It is Welch. Okay, well that worked out. Uh, that was not great. <laughs> but we got it. Okay, so we're gonna use Motel, Growl, Welch, and Tumor to start the Octortal now. Alright, we are on to the Octortal. We're gonna do Motel, Growl, Welch and Tumor. Okay, now, do what do we have? We have a UL here. Ooh, this one looks good over here. T-E-R, we've also got, ooh, we just have an L. Um, later would work. Uh, leader? Otherwise, something L-T-E-R, alter? Uh, okay, so there's a few things over there. Two of them have an A. This one only has a G with nothing else. That's not very good. This one could be Deuce. Deuce would work. I feel like the the U has to be there probably. Which then probably ends in an E. So I think it's gotta be Deuce. I'm gonna go with that. Okay, it was Deuce, good. Ah, uh, we got a D here and a D over here. Look at that, okay, D. Something O, something E. I mean, we could be... It can't be drone. We don't have an R. What's gonna come after the D? Ooh, it could be... Diode would be good with another D. Because I feel like it has to have a vowel after the D if it's not an R. Yeah, I think diode's good. I think I'm gonna go with that. It was diode. Awesome. So now, did that help us with the I? There's an I here. So, something I-R-E maybe? That could be uh, something like Spire would work. Can't be Shire, there's no H. Let's see, I've got six words left to guess and seven guesses left. So I only have one more that can be wrong. So I need to be careful. Ooh, look over here. I got the I and the D. So, and it can't be, it can't be a U there, so it can't be like guy, we don't have an E either. So what's gonna go between the I and the D? Uh, could it be A? I don't think so. N would work. Could be another D, we could do Giddy. Giddy is really good there. Um, alright, what about this one? We've got the, the yellow I here. It's L-E, it's probably not L-E-I. So I think it starts with I. And we need to have a T. It could be Eyelet. Eyelet would be really good there. I think that's got a good chance. Because I think the T has to be at the end. I'm gonna go with that. Or it could be, no, Inlet too. Ah. 
Inlet or Islet? Okay. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. Snaky. Snaky is a word that uses five new letters we haven't used, and we think that there's potentially A's and S's and N's in some of these words. So I think that's gonna be helpful. So I'm gonna go with that. Okay, this is inlet, for sure. Because the T now has to be at the end, which forces the I at the beginning, it's inlet. Okay, good. This, did this help us over here? It didn't help us over there, okay. This helped us, look at this, we've got G-I something D-Y, so I think it's gotta be giddy. Giddy? Good, this is something U-L something Y. Could be like fully, there could be another L, it could be bully. A couple options there. This is either alter or later. Don't know which one it is. That's not good. Got a 50-50 here and a 50-50 here. Okay, so what's in the middle? Okay, well the E has to be third. Could be... Spell? We haven't used a P yet. I feel like it has to be E-L-L. -L. I don't know what else could be between the E and the L there, other than another L. And we can't do swell or shell. I think spell, I think it's gotta be spell. Okay, it was spell. Good. Oh, and that gave us the other L here. So it is bully or bully, I think. So this is later or alter. This is fully or bully. This one is, what is this over here? So the I has to be third or fourth. I, R, E, I was thinking spire, but there's no S or P. Oh, there's an A. R I E Airy? I think that's A E R I E. Yeah, the E can't be second. If it was, if we had an S, then you could do raise, but there's no S, so A something I R E uh, a fire. I mean, that's a word. Well, you know, if it is a fire, that would help us with alter and later. All right. That's the only thing I can come up with for that word is a fire. So I'm gonna go for it because it will also help me know if it's alter or later. So I'm just gonna try it. It was a fire. Wow, okay. And now I've got alter. But it's gonna come down to a 50-50 here. Bully or, f oh, no, no, no. And that helped us with fully because now we've got the F. <gasps> so it's fully. I can't believe I pulled that out. I thought for sure Alter and Foley were both gonna be 50-50 guesses. That was crazy. Okay, well, <laughs> I got them. Uh, it wasn't pretty, but it worked. So, <laughs> um, definitely some tricky words in there. Uh, part of it was just the words I was starting with didn't help me out much. But, you know, some a lot of double letters. There was the two Ds in Giddy, two Ls in Spell, two Ls in Foley, two Ds in Diode two E's and deuce, so lots of double letters today on the Octortal. Very interesting. Um, so there you go. Let me know how you did with today's Dortal, Cordal, and Octortal. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. So the way this works is it's like normal Wordle, but one of the clues is a lie. Ooh, okay, so, so we know the T and the O are in different words. We also know that there's two O's, Blank. I don't think that's. I mean, we can't do blank. So, I don't think we can do A N C. This works just like normal Wordle, except instead of getting the yellows and greens on the actual letters, we're gonna get numbers on the right side over here that will tell us how many greens and how many yellows there are.